Last time on Klaus Hands Plays Rain. I really don't understand too much about this game. Oogie Boogie. Hello? Hello? Could you open the door, please? No! Let's kick some bottles. And some cans. Whoa. I knew this game was rigged. They were as fast as his legs would carry them to a place. God damn, I read slow. I'm knocking the chairs over. He had come to associate invisibility with safety. But... Yeah, well, here we go. Hey, buddy. I don't like you. Run away. Chapter 2, Raindrops and Footsteps. You almost killed me, you bastard. All you could do was run away. Away from the fearsome footsteps. Run away. Oh god. Ah, oh, and the children were swallowed by the darkness. Ah, this bastard. Why does everything want to kill me all of a sudden? Uh, this way? Am I safe? Okay, so rule number one when you're running away from a creepy bastard. Nowhere is safe. No. No, I'm not safe. Okay, so no, I'm not safe there. Retry. No, I don't want any hits. Just keep running. Yeah, slow down. Away. As far as as fast as legs could carry him. To where those clawing hands could not reach him. You suck. <laughs> do I go left or do I go right? I don't know. Apparently I need to go right. Still suck, dude. So yeah, I know he's supposed to be like... Oh, tiny footprints. I know he's supposed to be the main antagonist and all, but still, he's, he's a douche. Oh, she got all muddy. Oh, she's cornered like a little lamb. I'll save her. The girl cried out with all her might. The boy screamed momentarily. But their voices did not make a sound. Their words blew away like leaves in the wind. That's a simile. I know I'm about to open the door. I don't know what I'm doing though. Quick, close it, close it, close it. Oh, I can't. Okay, I guess I can't close the door. Yeah. I win. The boy had saved the girl. Da -da -da -da. But the 
girl had not seen him. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's okay, man. We'll win her heart. He became visible each time he stepped into the muddy puddle, even when out of the rain. What happens if he jumps? Oh, that sucks. But all he had to do was walk in a watery puddle and his transparent form would return. Oh god. They're still gonna see me. And he's gonna kill me. Okay, so let's 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 try and think about this logically. Watery puddle. Okay. Muddy feet are going. Let's try skipping the mud. Yeah. There we go. Screw you, dog. Um, I'm gonna check up here first. The boy returned to the town. Nope. I don't like narration. I'm checking out here first. The boy crawled through the thing to a dead end. Oh, I guess that's to get away from the, uh, from the dog. If he sees you with muddy feet or something. So the boy returned to town. Nope, nothing over here. Where's a gun? I need a gun. <laughs> something tells me it's not that type of game. But there was no sign of anybody there, and it seemed that it had been that way for some time. Crawl. Hero. Someone there. Oh, it's the bastard. With his long finger. Luckily, the lumbering monstrosity did not seem to have noticed him yet. Luckily, I'm gonna stay away from the muddy footprints. He came across a curious little phonograph, and he used it to get the hell out of there. Uh, I think you might have noticed that I went through there and he's probably ch Yep, he's chasing me. Run, little dude. Run faster. Crawl. Crawl faster. It seemed the unknown could not reach him immediately, so I'm going to enter the water and come out clean. Climb out. GTFO, bro. He emerged from the water, washed clean of mud. He headed, he had reached the church. That's a pretty nice little church. Spoke too soon. The church was run down and destroyed, unkempt for years, and the little girl was there, pondering, why? <laughs> he, he, oh, I missed the uh, examine. But the door was locked from in, well, why would she lock the door? Oh, then again. Let's see. Makes sense. Is this one open? Okay, cool. I'm going go in here. 
He had the fire weighed around. He climbed up on top of a bookshelf and jumped out the window. Oh, Jesus. As the douchebag lumbered towards him. He said, you can't catch me. What's in here? Ah. Is that, is that him in here? Oh great, the asshole is in the church. I'll go play the organ, get his attention over there. Carry the key to the door. If he doesn't kill me first. Alright, let's try this again. Bag. At least he made a hole for me to get through. Yep, time to open the door. And if I close it, maybe it'll lock again. Oh, little girl. Don't know your name. Klaus Hans is calling for you. I have to save your life. Search as he might, he could see no sign of the girl, only the churchyard stretching out before him. Well, the churchyard is a lot nicer than the interior of the church itself. And beyond it, the abandoned factory. Crawl. <laughs> Chapter 2, Raindrops and Footsteps, Finn. Hey everybody, Klaus Hands here. You know the drill, right? If you like the show, click the like button. If you got something to say, drop a comment, please. Feel free. But also, I have a message for you. If you also like movies, not just Let's Plays, there's a podcast you should check out. The Wrong Company Podcast, to be exact. A good friend of mine, Casey, BSing with his friend Jeff about movies, pop culture, and just having a barrel of laughs. Check it out and enjoy their show, too. Until next time, guys. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>